After the basic course, you as a technical person is better to pass the Arcanics Advanced course. You can participate in a full advanced course that is face-to-face -face classes or you can learn the theory material through the online classes and then for the practical ones participate in a face-to-face -face classes with us. All topics we are going to cover in a Canix Advanced course is based on the Canix organization standards and the duration is about 30 hours so it takes some day to cover it totally. Also in ST Center we are going to provide you more information on the optional chapters also because they are so important. The first chapter is fail-safe planning. It is an optional chapter but we are going to cover it because it is so important to you. You will learn about fail-safe planning in a design phase of your, your project so you can design special Canix project that will be totally safe. In this chapter you are going to you will learn about bus voltage monitoring, redundant power supply, implementing the weather station in a safe planning and many many other things. Then in a chapter of flags you will learn and practice some examples to understand the flags of communication, read, write, transmit, update and initiate. Later in interworking you will learn about data point types and why we use it to make the standard data point types to communicate between the Canix products from different manufacturers. In chapter ETS app you will learn why we have the ETS app, how we can download it and add it to the ETS software. We can see how it works and where we can find it. We will provide you more information of the useful ETS apps. The next one is Canix and Multimedia. So we can understand how we can implement the multimedia, sound, server and similars to the Canix systems and what is the pros and cons of these jobs. So later you can understand these systems in a much better way. You can select the right product from the market for your system and implement it in a right way. The chapter of Canix and Smart Metering is an optional also, but we will cover it to you because it helps you to learn how Canix can contribute your systems to save energy. Because if you want to save some things, at the first step, you can read it in a correct way. So with Canix products, you can collect the useful data and then later you can use it in a management layer to reduce the energy usage and balance it. One of the important chapters is Canix Secure. You can see recently, since 2020, the Canix provides the devices that are supports Canix Secure. So the data is code and decode between the TP to TP devices or IP to IP devices or IP to TP devices. So you can learn why we use it, how we can implement it, and what will be happen in ETS programming. One of the important chapters here is Room HVAC Control or Heat Ventilation Air Condition Control based on Canix. So you're going to learn how to implement the room thermostat with the Fankoil under floor heating and radiator. But I should say that we will go deep in these examples in HVAC course also. Another important chapter is coupler. So here you can see how we implement couplers or device systems to control the traffic of the data. We will do it through the online courses, also in practical courses. You can use the IP router that are exist in our classes. So you can check all the send and receive data which are transmitted over the Canix 
back phone line or main line and understand the main concepts probably for a medium big and so big projects you are going to use coupler or IP router also we are going to understand about IP communication in Canix so you can learn how we use Canix IP interface how we configure it and how we can transmit our data from the devices to the IP level so you learn about configuration the benefits and all related things about it one of the major chapter is lighting control so here you can see how we can use the presence sensor light sensor dimmer actuator and light controller to control the light in a room and make the constant light for the rooms like offices during the days so we can implement one of the best strategy to save energy these chapters is a bit complicated and we are going to cover it both in online classes and practical ones the next one that we learn about light control is open loop systems where we use the weather station info to control the indoor light or the blinds that is also so interesting and we are going to understand how to program it in ETS and implement it in a project the last but not the least is to learn dolly control in the lighting systems so you can understand how to design program implement and use the dolly devices in conjunct with Canix devices you can learn throughout the online classes also in practical ones you can test it by the real products in a class the next chapter is logic operation so you can understand how we can implement the logic like and or or similars the simple ones in Canix systems they are exist in some devices also you can use the specific logic controller or you can implement it with the main software in monitoring layer in BMS so you can learn all of it in our classes and at the end you learn about visualization systems so after implement the Canix projects in ETS you should know about how to implement it in visualization or monitoring software in a management level to control your devices through the web or mobile phone. You will learn the different types of monitoring or visualization systems, server, mini server, software, the programming and more information in this area. So after the advanced courses, you are quite expert in this area because through the basic and advanced course you cover most of the topics that are really needed in a BMS specifically the room automation part and the third course that ST Center provides officially is Canix HVAC course here the students learn about heat ventilation air condition control by Canix devices in first chapter we are going to learn about basic concepts of HVAC so it's pure physics and there are some calculations that the students should cover it the next chapter is about heat distribution system in this chapter the students learn about different type of heat distribution systems which later help them to design the right control system for them it's one of the chapter that is suitable for electronic or IT engineers who do not know about the HVAC systems like heat distribution so they can learn more about these concepts and consequently these knowledge helps them to design better the next chapters is about heat generators like condensed boiler or solar panels or heat pump. The students can learn these mechanical concepts in deep which will help them to design the HVAC control 
in a true way. Also, we talk about the legal framework, the things that lead the buildings to improve their grade of energy. And we talk about the regulations in different countries like Germany. And finally, we get to the point for HVAC course book. First of all, we talk about the closed loop controller to control the HVAC application like fan coil or underfloor heating or radiator or many other things. So we talk about difference between closed loop control or open loop control. Then we take a glance at heating control. Here we talk about the pure Kinex systems in mechanical room or the combination of Kinex and for example vacuum devices. The next interesting chapters is about Kinex climate and environmental sensors like weather station to detect rain, temperature, looks and many other things. So you will understand about the different type of sensors in Kinex that are used to control HVAC. And finally, we talk about BACnet, the protocol to control HVAC that is coming from ASHRAE. So according to the book content, we are going to cover some technical issues in there. We will talk about BACnet objects and so many other things. Thank you so much and I hope to see you soon.